hello guys welcome to my mathematics lesson and in today's lesson i'll be looking at sets part two guys before we look at example number one guys i want to welcome those that are new to this channel guys you are welcome and if you haven't yet subscribed guys consider subscribing because on this channel i teach mathematics physics chemistry and biology extra lessons for free guys and also for those that are already my subscribers especially the grade 12s remain subscribed because i will be teaching you life surviving skills on computer operations such as video editing all right i'll be teaching you cartoon making microsoft processing excel and also powerpoint so remain subscribed so let's go into the video so example number one a says shared the set indicated in each of the following venn diagrams so we have this set here and then we are told we should do shed a intersection b so we shed a intersection b complement so what does it mean here it means that we shed those members that are in set a but not in set b that are intersecting those members that are in set b complement all right so this one is going to be written like this so we'll say these are the members that are not in set b complement all right because the members that are not in set b are supposed to be these and these are the members that are intersecting with set a b also we are given a complement intersection b so it means those members that are not in a here intersection those members that are in b all right so we'll answer it in this way guys so we are going to shed those members that are not in a they are here and those not members that are not in a they are also here see also says a intersection those members that are not in b so those members that are not in b are somewhere where here and also somewhere here so we can also shade it in this way uh yeah we can shade it in this way so these members which are in set a here they are not in set b we if we want we can also include the universal set here because also these members which are in the universal set which are remaining here they're also not part and parcel of members in set b all right so let's go to d d also talks about the a union b complement so those that are in union b are the members that involve members in set a and set b combined but they want those that are not in set a set b combined so the answer here is going to be we we'll shade those members that are in the universal set so these members here in the universal set here outside the set a and b they're not part and parcel of the union of set a and set b e here says a intersection c intersection b so the members that are in a they're also in c so they have to be found here that are also in b so the members that are in a also in uh, c also in b they're supposed just to be here because these here the members that are in a and c only these here they are the members that are in a and b only these here they are the members that are in b and c only but those members that are in a c and b here they're supposed to be here so answer it like these guys All right so uh, f uh, also says uh, a intersection c uh intersection b complement those that are not in b so those that are in a they are here a intersection c they are here intersection b so they are supposed to be here now they don't want those because they're saying don't include those that are in b all right that are intersecting b here so meaning we are only going to indicate a intersection c which will be like this a intersection b only this a intersection c only this part because these are uh, complement they're not supposed to be included all right g also says c un intersection open bracket a union b so a union b 
it's these members here combine these which are in a you combine and those that are in b now they're saying complement meaning they don't want those so it could be these here and these which are in the universal so this can be written as yeah, so these are not part and parcel of the members that are in A and B combined. Let's go to combined operations or set combined operations. So example one here, we are going to look at for two sets A and B, number of elements in set A is equal to six, number of element in set B is equal to four, and the number of element of set A union set B is equal to eight all right so here what we are told that is that if the number of element in set a is six the number of elements in set b is four then when you combine the number of elements in set a and set b you find that the total number is equal to what eight then they are saying find the number of elements in a intersection b find the number of elements in A intersection B. They are telling you that if in A you have six elements, in B you have four elements. When you combine them, you have what? You have eight. But in reality, when you look at these, when you combine six plus what? Four, you find that it should give you 10. So why is it that when you combine A and you hear it is giving you Eight. It means there are two elements that are common in both set B and set uh, A here. So those elements that are, in, are common in set A and set B, we call them intersection sets. So from the look of things, there are two. So the number of set A intersection set B is supposed to be just two. However, we have a formula for doing this or fi for finding this. So we are going to say answer in general number of elements for set A intersection set B is equal to number of elements in set A plus number of elements in set B minus number of elements in set A union set B. Here what we are going to do is to get number of elements in set A which is 6 plus number of elements in set B which is 4 then minus number of elements in the union set of A union B. So what we are going to do here is now to add 6 plus 4 will give us what? 10. Then 10 minus 8 will give us it will mean number of element for A intersection B will give us 2. Example number 2 reads, if number of element in E, which is universal set, is equal to 30, and the number of elements of set A is equal to 14, this is the diagram here, we have universal set, and we are told in this universal set, which is represented by this rectangle here, there are how many elements? 30. And also we are told we have this set A here. In set A here, which is this set here, there are how many elements? 14. Then the question says, find X and Y. So we should find this X here and this Y here. Although people complain why, are we always asked to find X and Y. It is what it is, guys. Here, what we should do, do to find X is to combine we are told number of elements in set a must be given by x here plus 4 plus 2 plus 3 so x plus 4 plus 2 plus uh, 3 should give us this total number of these elements should be what 14 what we are now going to do is to add like them so we will add 4 plus 2 plus 3 on this side of the equation so we we'll have what? 9 is equal to 14. Then this 9 is going to follow where another number is. So we are collecting simply like terms because we cannot add x and 9. x is a letter and 9 is a number. So this simply cannot be added. So 9 is going to cross to the right side of the equal sign to find 14, which is a number as 19. So 
this is what we call collecting like terms. So 9 will jump and become negative like this. So we we'll have x is equal to 14 minus 9. When a number crosses the equal sign, it changes the sign. Since here 9 is positive, now it will change it to negative. Now we are going to say 14 minus 9, which will give us x is equal to 5. How are we going to find y? So for us to find y, we are not told of the number of elements in it. Uh, C or the number of elements in it, uh, B. So we are going to use the universal set. So we are going to say number of elements in the universal set should be given by number of elements 14 here, which is uh, the number of elements in set A plus uh, 3, this one here, plus Y, this one here, plus 6, this one here, plus 5, this one here, all these. Here we have said 14 plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this. They should give us 30 because this is the total number of elements in this universal set. What we are going to do is to add these like terms 14 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 here which will give us 28. Then we are going to collect like terms 28 will go where the other number is which is 30 so that we remain with y on the left side of the equal sign and since 28 is positive when it crosses the equal sign remember the sign has to change to the opposite of what it have so since it has positive so it will become negative all right so it will be y is equal to 30 minus 28 so y minus y is equal to 30 minus 28 which will give us 2 all right so guys at this point in time we have come to the end of this uh mathematics lesson part two only sets guys so if you want to understand the introduction of the of the topic here so that you understand the terms i was using like complement in this video you have to click a video that is popping up here all right so for now guys bye and see you in my next in my next video peace